It's Monday morning. We've got coffee. We've got a planner that I've actually used and kind of planned out things for this week, including a to-do list. Say what? We have my goals and gratitude journal sitting here. We have my prayer journal sitting here, which I've been loving lately. And we, of course, have the live stream with Rachel and Dave Hollis, which you can't hear because I have headphones in. And a computer, as I do. Good morning and happy Monday. Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, December 10th. We are at another day of Vlogmas. It is about 9.20 in the morning, and I have been up since 6.30, as I normally do. I actually slept last night. According to my sleep cycle app, I was only in bed, I was in bed for under seven hours. We went to bed late last night, but my little graph shows me like I fell asleep and I tanked in the deep sleep for about four hours straight, which was awesome. So I woke up today feeling energized and inspired and motivated, and that's a really, really good feeling for a Monday morning, let me tell you. So I, this week is going to be a busy one in that I have to create my busyness, um, or not create my busyness. I have a lot of tasks to do, but not a lot of appointments. The only thing actually on my calendar, I did, I last night I sat and like opened my planner and like planned out my hours. I have an hourly planner and I looked and I was like, the only thing that's actually in the schedule this week is all of my workouts. So I have body pump today. I have um, whatever I choose to do tomorrow, but I, my scheduled workouts are Body pump, 10.30 a.m. on Monday. Pilates, 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Body pump, 5.15 p.m. on Thursdays. And body pump, 9.15 a.m. on Saturdays. So those are the only four things in the calendar other than being on at church again this weekend. But everything else is you have time to accomplish things on your to-do list. And guys, the to-do list is long this week. It is long. I have to finish up Christmas shopping and do all these things and get ready to go to Florida because Florida is going to be a big, exciting thing this year, um, which I'll tell you about a little bit more later. Um, but first, I have to eat breakfast and go to the gym and get all that done so I can tackle my to-do list. So hello, welcome to the vlog, happy Monday. Breakfast this morning is super quick and simple because that's how I need it to be. This is a Sandwich Brothers breakfast sandwich with turkey sausage, egg, cheese, and a pita. Four points plus, four smart points. This is Oikos Triple Zero Yogurt, two points plus, three smart points, and I have added an extra tablespoon of fiber. This is clear acacia fiber, I love this stuff. It adds five carbs, but it's five straight grams of fiber, which is awesome, I'm trying to you know get back on track with the focusing on what kind of foods I eat, as opposed to just the amount of points I eat, and high fiber is one of my primary focuses. So I'm adding extra fiber into this, so we have Six points plus total. This would add an extra smart point. So what did I say? Four smart points, three smart points, seven, eight smart points total. All right, I'm home from the gym, body pump, cardio, all that jazz, and here is lunch. I am trying to make it a point to make sure I actually bulk up my food with some more vegetables. So that being said, I have carrots for zero points. I'm eating Quest Protein Tortilla Chips, which are four points on points plus, which makes me so sad. Um, but it is what it is. It's days like today when I want to eat things like this that I miss smart points. And then I have a wrap, which is two points plus, with one or two ounces of this turkey from Sam's Club, which is one point. And then I have one slice of Jarlsberg light cheese, which is one point. And then again, to bulk it up, I've got two pickle slices on there just to give it a little more something, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of mayo. I don't check that as anything. So we have four plus four plus zero, eight points plus total for lunch. So I realize, and I'm a little bit behind on my advent calendars, I actually have to do the eighth, the ninth, which is here, and the tenth, which is there for my David's Tea advent calendar. So let's see what goodies are in here. All right, so the first one is, this is the eighth, is Zest Wishes. And this one has a very strong smell. That's what's in Zest Wishes. It's not as strong, maybe it's the cardamom that I'm smelling? I don't know. 
The ninth was white cranberry bark. This sounds so good and it's caffeine free. I was like, oh, I'm going to drink this now, but maybe I will save this for an evening enjoyment and brew myself something with a little bit of a boost in it for now. So this was the ninth. And today the 10th was nutty and spice, which is low caffeine oolong tea. There's the ingredients for nutty and spice. Sounds really good. Yum, these all sound delightful. And of course, I'm sure you all are wondering, where is the sock calendar? Well, even though I did not vlog yesterday, Sunday, my husband's like, what about the sock calendar? And so <laughs> he wanted to open the couple of days that I have missed of the sock calendar. So I took footage of him last night, even though I wasn't vlogging yesterday. So here is Eric opening and catching up on my sock calendar. All right. Even though you won't see this until Monday's vlog, it's Sunday night. And guess who got his hands on the sock calendar? And guess who didn't open yesterday's? Yeah, I didn't open yesterday's. But on the video you saw yesterday, I opened two days worth. <laughs> Look, I am a reasonably strong person. You like said that the last time you struggled with this. No. Because it looks like. You're like, like Look, I, just, I work out. I work out. <laughs> All right, I found the solution. No, I don't think that's how, don't be stupid. Oh dear. I was gonna have them comment on your pajama pants. That I've had since college? That I love so very much, not at all. Isn't he sexy in those guys? Look at him, look at my sexy man right now in Nintendo pants, which I mean, mad respect, but come on. And an Angry Birds t-shirt. <laughs> I've had these since... I've had these pants for 10 years. Oh my gosh, they're older than our relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably. I probably have had them since college. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, look. Oh, he's busting out the box cutter. That's my weapon I'm of choice. I'm a frugal man. Yes, what did I call you today? A frugal miser? Doesn't that I, mean I the same thing? I spend money on the things that I need. They work. They still do what they're intended to do. Yeah. <laughs> this box, on the other hand, does not. If the box cutter doesn't fix it, I can't help you. You. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> All right. He can we, broke can the we... entire epic calendar. Oh. We need to take this video and tag this to. It's Target. Yeah, it's, there's no. They don't it's even... Target. GB GBG socks. <laughs> Tell them like it has to be able to like. Great idea, but do it better next year. Yeah. All, All right. right. Good grief! That was a lot of work. Oh, look who's interested. Hello. Ooh, ooh! Can you guess? Cherry blossoms? Uh huh. Mulan. There you go. I think so, anyway. Yeah, that looks like Mulan. Who is that girl I see? I'll make a man out of you. I'll make a man out of you. Oh, right. That's probably more accurate. What do you think, Gracie? <laughs> she is way too interested in these socks. I think that's supposed to be a person. She's Her chin's a little bit narrow, but I, I totally get Asian chick. Okay. I can see it. I love the cherry blossoms. Well, yes, you're biased, though. Yes. If you haven't watched our, our cherry blossom videos from Japan, you should. Yeah. Go back to some of the first vlogs on my channel, guys. It's all about our um, trip to Japan. All right, so you ready for the next Disney princess? Don't be Maleficent. The next Disney princess is... Jafar? <laughs> Why? Jafar is not even a girl. You don't know. <laughs> don't Jafar judge. Jafar is not even a girl. Dear. We don't know his preferred pronoun. Dear people that made this calendar, I said it when you doubled up on Maleficent, but Jafar in a Disney princess calendar? Come on. At least it's got a shiny scarab. Yes, I did see the shiny scarab. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
Although, I will say this, I did wear the Poison Apple crew socks the other day to keep my feet warm, and I did like them. So at least the sock quality's fine. Anyway, so now I'm all caught up. I have 10th, 11th, and 12th left. Oh, there's only 12. Yes, there are it's not only, 24. It's only halfway through Christmas. Yes, but it's great because we can at least finish it before we leave. 12 days of socks. Yeah. I guess technically it doesn't even have to be an advent calendar. So, no, it's just 12 days. So, for those out there who want to get your friends and family 12 days of socks, buy them this kit with a box cutter. With a box cutter. The yeah. end. So, earlier today I made a post on Instagram. Um, that was a picture behind the keyboard at my church and I did a caption all about getting outside your comfort zone and how I was finally, after pushing myself out of my comfort zone, doing this particular thing at church, I was finally starting to get that thing in my, com my comfort zone. Then I get an email about this weekend's music and what I have to go on for this thing, I get a text message from our, our music director, not just like in the regular email. We get the email, but then we, I immediately got a text message saying, hey, regarding the email that you, you just got, um, I, I make sure you use that video that I told you about as an asset, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We have tracks if absolutely necessary, but I want you to try as hard as you can. So I go, oh no, because I haven't looked at this stuff yet. So what he sends me, we don't get sheet music here at the bridge. We don't get sheet music, we get lead sheets, which is how I play but I like to see the visualization of the whole song to understand. That's how I was trained. I'm a trained musician. I use sheet music, not lead sheets. We get lead sheets with no melody or whatever. So just for fun, I click on the video, and this is what I have to learn how to do. By vision. One, two, three, not by four, music. Five, six. And so the whole video is just the different fingerings and stuff. Verse. I love that they have the, that's the kind of stuff we hear in our ears. Verse, chorus, instrumental. We hear that in our ears all the time. But come on, can't you just give me sheet music? Oi, heaven help me. Anyway, I am headed off to the post office to go check my P.O. box mail and to send out my three giveaway prizes that have been announced thus far. I also have some P.O. box mail right there that I have to send back out. So... Time for, time for some errands. Here we go. You guys, I for real cannot handle how many letters I found in my P.O. box today. I mean, this is ridiculous. You guys are so awesome. I am so looking forward to sitting down with a hot cup of tea right now and opening and reading each and every one of your notes because, oh, what a, what a nice way for me to spend a Monday evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. Seriously. So, Miss Gracie and I are going to do a Christmassy, festive Monday evening while Eric is at a team dinner and not here. The Christmas tree is Christmasing. Over there, I have a fresh balsam candle going to make it smell like Christmas. P.S. It's a Christmas miracle that she even, oh, there she goes. Never mind. Never mind, she sat on my lap all by herself for about 60 seconds. Um, Christmas pajama pants, opening Christmas cards, drinking advent calendar tea. I have apple cider in there, it is quite tasty. And I've decided to start the Santa Claus trilogy. I think I'm going to make that my mission to do that this week. I'm trying to make sure that I get in enough Christmas movie watching to make it actually feel like the holiday season. Because it's, it, <sighs> Christmas season as an adult is a lot harder than Christmas season as a kid. And even though I'm like, we got the tree up and we got everything happening, there's still so much stress around it, like in the travel, oh my gosh, the travel, because I haven't told you guys. All right, I'll tell you right now. Are you ready? By the way, ignore this. So I actually did, I'm, I'm makeup free today. I had, I used the um, personal microdermabrasion thing that I have and I haven't used in ages to kind of really help get rid of all the extra dead skin on my face and I so I did that and then I put some of like my serum on and my intense moisturizer on and oh my goodness my skin just went like like sucked it all in which is really good one of the things that's supposed to happen is once you do the P PMD the P personal microderm you do end up with um, skin that is more willing to take more of your um, treatments and whatnot I'm getting really distracted by the lighting that's changing hang on Stop. We're just gonna fast forward right through those previews. Anyway, so 
as of not that long ago. Like, I think we've known maybe a week. I don't actually remember. Um, not too long ago, my father-in-law calls and basically just says, so, how would you guys feel about spending Christmas aboard the Regal Princess? Which is a cruise ship. And of course we said, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so long story short, or not so long story, because this all happened in a matter of 24 hours, we're going on a cruise for Christmas, which is really exciting and something we have most definitely never ever done before. I have never been not in a family home for Christmas. Not obviously within the last five years. I spent half of those Christmases at my husband's family's home, but it was still a home. Like Christmas tree and the presents and the traditions and the church and all that. This is going to be the first year that it is going to be me and Eric, um, Eric's sister Kristen and her boyfriend Michael and his mom and dad. And the six of us are embarking on a week long cruise in the ship that Eric and I honeymooned in. How cool is that? So I'm really excited, like super excited. Like the only, the only way that going to Florida could have gotten better would have been to go to the Caribbean. So that's absolutely amazing and totally cool and something completely new. And so I don't even know what to expect, but we're going to experience it together because I will be vlogging and Instagramming the entire time. So make sure you're following me on Instagram for Insta stories. I'm getting um, internet to make sure because they actually have a really good deal if you buy it in advance. But we're getting internet so I can continue to upload videos and I can do Instagram and all that jazz so you guys can follow along on our Christmas on a cruise ship adventure. Because um, Eric and I were on a cruise last December at the beginning of December, like we left on December 3rd, and they already had Christmas festivities throughout the week, which is really cool. If it was a different cruise line, yes, but like if a cruise ship was that advanced in being like, let's do Christmas stuff at the beginning of December, I'm hoping that Christmas, actual Christmas, on a nice cruise ship will be something pretty spectacular. Who knows? But anyway, that's a big announcement that I have not been telling you guys. Yes, I've been mentioning we're going to Florida, but not only are we going to Florida, we're going to the Caribbean. What? So cool. So very cool. So you guys will be along for that. But back to what I was saying before, which brought me to that announcement. The, um, that adds an, an extra level of stress onto everything. And like, oh, now we gotta remember swimsuits and formal wear and how much can we pack into one suitcase that fits in our room and blah, 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 blah. So there's just a lot on our minds and making sure we get Christmas shopping done and then um, we're not even gonna be back in time to do our backup plan for Christmas with my family, which is the years that we haven't been in Chicago for Christmas. We've been doing Christmas in Chicago on New Year's Eve. We're not gonna be back by New Year's Eve either. So it's just, it's a lot of chaos, a lot of crazy, a lot of stress. It's not even crazy yet, it's just stress. And I don't handle stress well. So all that to say, I don't even remember what started that. All that to say, oh, to make it feel more like Christmas, my husband's not home to complain about it, so I'm going to watch Christmas movies. And it's gonna be nice. And I love, some of my favorites are the classics like Rudolph and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And then I love the Santa Claus movies. I really do. I think Tim Allen is an amazing Santa Claus and remains amazingly consistent throughout the decade and a half that these three movies came out in. So that's all I have to say about that. I've rambled on for far too long. We're going on a cruise. I'm about to watch Christmas movies and try to get myself in the Christmas spirit and read all of the really sweet cards that you guys have sent me. I'm so excited. So, here we go. Are you guys ready for a stellar giveaway today? Today I am giving away something that's going to literally have you prepped and ready to plan and organize and schedule or whatever you need to do for the entire year. That's right. As you can see, what I have right here is a complete hardbound, which is beautiful, by the way, 2019 horizontal layout life planner. I wish I had the ability to show this to you without opening it, but I don't. But trust me when I say it is gorgeous. For real, every time I try to film stuff down here, every time. Gracie, say hi. <laughs> Tell the people what they've won. Okay, or not, that's fine too. Oh, she's gonna come back with a toy, you watch. Anyway, hardbound, colorful layout, horizontal life planner. 
See, told you. Oh, and the old ratty one, too. Come on, Gracie. I'm trying to do this. Hang on. Can you sit? Gracie, sit. Sit down and wait your turn. Sit. Sit. Okay, wait. So, part one of the giveaway is the I said sit. Thank you. Part one of the giveaway is the complete hardbound life planner for 2019, January through December. That is an entire year's planner. But wait, there's more. In addition to that, you will get the Luke's Weekly Schedule Pad. What this is, is a pad that will let you write down specific things you need to do on given days of the week so you can have your week at a glance. It's just another way to write down other things. If you wanted to write down maybe to-do lists here and appointments here, however you want to do it, you get the Luke's Weekly Schedule Pad as well. And it says turn your dreams into plans in gold foil. Super cute. And then no planner would be complete without stickers. So I've got you one of the um, yearly sticker books, sticker things. And what it is, is it has theme stickers for every month of the year. It's really cute. You can't make that out, but it is really cute. Trust me, I have one for myself as well. So today's giveaway is these three items. All of the details for the giveaway will be down below. Please, please, please read it. And then you have to go over like all the other giveaways. Click the little link down below to the raffle copter widget, which is how you officially enter. Or you'll gain an entry for being a follower on Instagram, a subscriber on YouTube, and leaving a comment on this video. Those are the three ways that you can enter to this giveaway, but you have to click the link down below. Let me say it again. You have to click the link down below and enter in the raffle copter widget or your entry does not count. Now, if you want to comment and not enter, that's completely okay too. I don't, I love all of your comments, but in order to gain an entry, I said sit. In order to gain an entry, you do have to use the widget down below. All of the details, all the rules and regulations, the dates, everything will be down below. So make sure you go read that info box. All right. Here's your giveaway. Happy entering. Now you can have your toy back. Bet you can't guess what that is. That is the remnants of my late night, as in it is 1021. Cookie making extravaganza. Because why not make chocolate chip cookies at 10 o'clock at night? Doesn't everybody do that? They turned out pretty good. Last batch is in the oven. They're delicious, and the best part is my husband can take some of them to work with him tomorrow so they're not all hanging out at my house. In case anybody's wondering, the super special, high-end, top-of-the-line recipe that I use is the one found on the back of the Nestle Toll House chips. Semi-sweet. With some changes. I add a little unmeasured amounts, uh, extra salt, extra vanilla. I almost said vinegar, which was definitely wrong. How are you feeling about your special dessert? Good. I wish I didn't know before I had my normal dessert. <laughs> it's a double dessert kind of night. Oh. Is there anything better in this world than homemade cookie dough? I think not. Except like, for, really, truly, I think not. Except for overly nerdy pop Wait, I can't pop see you. There we go. So remember how last night, which is a clip that you probably saw like five minutes ago, he was in those same pajama pants. <laughs> And a different Angry Birds shirt. Now, oh, was if, I really in a different Angry yes, Birds shirt? Yes, that's what I just said. You were literally, I was just commenting on your ensemble in, as I'm editing the video in real time right now. I'm this editing so the video horrible. and we're about to do the same thing as in the clip I'm now, editing. Technically, this is relevant because Star Wars is now on Disney and we're about to open Disney socks. Oh, well played. Yeah, but if, as if you couldn't up the nerd anymore. Tomorrow, I will have one more Disney related shirt. You will? So just wait. All right, this one. I can't think of what his is. Oh, yes, I can think of it. What's so, today? The 10th? Yeah. The 10th. I mean, I'm just not even going to bother. Well, didn't you, like, brutally maim it anyway? <laughs> All right, what princesses are we missing, Brie? We've established that we are missing Belle, and we are missing Cinderella does not exist yet. And I don't remember who the main... We, so we've gotten Mulan... We've gotten Sleeping Beauty, we've gotten Snow White, we've gotten Jasmine. Jasmine. Those are the only four actual princesses I've opened, I think. Which is really sad because that's only four. We've gotten Poison Apple, we've gotten Two Maleficent, we've gotten Jafar. Um, and, and who else did we get? Who else did we get? And on number 10, 
That's today. Oh, at least she's a good villain. She's my favorite villain. Which I used to hate her. To not seen. So I used to not like Ursula, and because then she was a big Little Mermaid fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ariel, and um, but then I really truly became an Ursula fan when the musical came out not that long ago. Because if I was ever in the show, I would want to be Ursula because she's the awesome belter. Those are accurate. She yeah, doesn't look wrong. She kind of looks like a drag queen, but I'm pretty sure she always looks like that. So she kind of looks like Harvey Firestein a la Hairspray. Like, a drag queen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's today's sock calendar. Thank you. All right, my friends, it is time for me to sign off for the evening. But before I go, I have a couple of questions for you. First of all, I'm, so, I'm getting distracted by a dot that's actually on my viewfinder, and I keep thinking it's on my face. I'm like, wait, no, really? Uh, anyway, stop looking at the viewfinder and you won't have a problem, right, Brianna? My goodness, um, two questions. As I'm looking ahead for content for 2019, I'm already starting to think ahead of what kind of things I want to be posting, and I need your opinion on a couple of things. First, you can feel free to leave any requests you might have down below, any ideas, suggestions, things you might want to see in the coming new year. But um, two things that I'm thinking about, or iterations of things I'm thinking about, one is like a 2019 goal setting either series or challenge or something having to do with setting yourself up for success and with um, actual goals for 2019. And then the second thing I'm thinking about is um, book suggestions for you guys, like a top X amount of books list and or would you be interested in a monthly book club or bi-monthly book club or anything like that. So just a couple of suggestions I'm throwing out there into the universe. Let me know your feedback on those things or if you have any suggestions of your own. And on that note, it's late. I gotta get this video edited and uploaded and all that jazz so I can go to bed. Because now that I've been baking for the last hour, I'm tired. <laughs> random cookie baking. I don't even know. Eric came home and was talking about the lack of ice cream and as he was eating one of my frozen yogurt bars and talking about the lack of dessert, I was like, well, you know, I considered making cookies today, which I really did. Like, as I sat down in the middle of the Santa Claus movie I was watching, which was glorious as always, um, I was like, you know, I kind of want to bake chocolate chip cookies. And I bought the stuff to bake them because I had every intention of doing it at some point. And then I was like, no, maybe I don't. But I really kind of do, but maybe I don't. And then I just decided not to. And then he's like, well, you should, you should. Then I can bring some to work tomorrow. And I was like, okay. Which I prefer because if they were all sitting in the house, we'd be in big trouble. But I'd say two thirds of them are going with him to work tomorrow. So happy happy day for everybody they get cookies while at work and i get a lot of them out of my house which means i had the joy of baking and i get to eat some but not all which is wonderful so anyway on that note i'm going to sign off for the night thank you guys for tuning in today i hope you had a wonderful monday let me know if anything exciting happened and i will see you in my next video don't forget about the giveaway link is down below that's how you enter the rafflecopter link okay i'll see you tomorrow bye Thank you.